Hello everyone, this is Arasag. Um, I'm in my new place, and one of the things that I've been wanting to do is I've been wanting to make uh, my own costume. And I started on that. I was, the idea was I was going to hand sew it um, entirely. Sorry. Uh, just trying to get this in frame and me in frame. <sighs> so the idea was I was going to hand sew it. I was just going to watch a show or whatever, hand sew it. I got the first tavern done, and it was just a bus. I think I still have it over there. It's just, it's ugly. It's like a empty pillowcase, essentially. It was just wrong. And I don't know what I did wrong. I, 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 th I thought it through. I measured like so many times. And I decided, you know what, maybe the issue is my stitching. Because from what I could tell, my stitching sort of kept bunching up ever so slightly. So it ended up creating a curve when it was supposed to be straight. So I'm like, how can I fix that? I, I, this is my hand. I'm not exactly the greatest. So... This is when this comes in. What's in the gigantic wooden box? So I decided I wanted to get a sewing machine, and I was looking at some, a whole bunch of hand, like um, different types, but like they're all so expensive, or I don't even know if they're gonna work. But this one we know has to work because it's been around. Uh, this is a. You know what? Let's just open up, and I will show you. beautiful. It is a um, 1898 or 1889, I'm going to get that always messed up, um, Singer uh, sewing machine. And what do I like about it? A lot of sewing machines are so loud and I have people in the house I don't want to disturb. So, it's a hand crank one. Now, of course, this doesn't have the, as many advantages because I can't use both hands, obviously, unless I'm, like, going like that. But, number one, the sound is just so relaxing. I could listen to that for, like, hours. But, you're, uh, but yeah, it's a full sewing machine. Um, you're able to, like, slide these parts out and get to the inside to be able to uh, lay up the thread so it can do... The stitching, oh my god, this is so cool watching it, like, because it's all timed up so it'll, like, pull this fabric, uh, the fabric, the string, and, uh, wow. From what I understand, there's supposed to be a part here. I think that's something I'm going to have to look into, into getting. Not quite sure how it works. Like I, I have an idea. I've done some. Like I, it's not like I bought this without doing any research. I've done research. It's just um, the models are all like a, a lot of people don't really know. Like if they're get, if they have one. Like this one, from what I understand, was from somebody who's like his uh, mother had passed away or something, and this was part of her uh, belongings. But they have no need for it. So I got this. Like this thing is so old. Like we're talking like over a hundred years old. And I got it for like 40 pounds. Beautiful. So yeah, so this is what I'm going to be using to slowly and put together my um, costume just because I've been needing something. Honestly, it's just fascinating what hu human um, innovation can do. You go from like hand stitching and then you just do this. It's so beautiful too. There's all these like these beautiful like f like uh, leaf markings, floral markings. Um, the Sing Singer Manufacturing Corporation written on the top. Um, I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can take a look. Ooh, but I, but yeah, it's quite pretty. Let's, see, let's get that close up. This beautiful action. Backwards. Like, I imagine. I don't imagine going backwards will do anything different. I'm not quite sure how that works, but we're gonna look into it. But yeah. So, just listen to that sound. Just... I'm hoping it can be picked up by this thing. I have the microphone in, but we'll uh, we'll see. So yeah, I just got that in, um, and I just I just wanted to capture it. For, uh, uh, my first reaction. What I do like is. <laughs> It can be completely self-contained within this box. And it's just a beautiful wooden box. If you 
put it somewhere. It's like this mysterious chest. It's quite heavy, but it's still very pretty. Hmm. But yeah, so this thing is crazy old, but it is. It's mine now. Um, I've, from my understanding, just looking at it, there is a part that I'm going to have to figure out. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, I think I could even probably make one. Um, it's like this, this little metal rod um, that goes on one side that you're supposed to spool uh, your thread. Like you're supposed to have to put the thread on the top. I do like that it has the felt bit still because um, that would have just been something that I would have to go get. But yeah, I should be uh, I should be fine from here. Um, so I'm gonna do some more research, figure it out. It's in great shape considering how old this thing is. Like this wooden box, honestly, is by itself is impressive. There's a bit of splintering, but I can probably patch that up. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna start using because my hand stitching isn't the greatest, and I want to get this costume done um people really like the videos where i have my tabards on just because of how they flow and i like i like it too um but i have to take the shoulder pieces and let them uh, hang because when i flow with them on they're just not strong enough they just sort of fall, fall over the shoulder um they're fine when i'm walking around but then when i start doing stuff it, it just wants to slide down and i don't have anything that i really want to sew it to and i have some plans for that like um this new tabard design that i've gone with should completely eliminate that issue i'm going to be sewing it to a waistcoat that i don't use anymore um it just didn't go with the clothes that i was wearing and the colors that i was wearing for work at the time um and because I've lost a lot of weight, it's just a little over, like it just became oversized, so I just don't use it anymore. So that one, it, it also has these like ugly pockets on it uh, that I wasn't really a fan of uh, buying through Amazon is a nightmare. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take that and I'm gonna sew on like the fabrics onto it because it can be closed, it has its own form and it can be hidden underneath all the fabrics. It's an experiment if it works out maybe some people will be like wait a second this is a great workaround let's just get waistcoats and so our tabards onto that um, yeah just wanted to show this thing off um it's really really cool you get to work on the um learning how to use it properly i'm gonna have a, i'm gonna use the tabard that i messed up on uh, as practice material and then once we get going very nice oh, it's so pretty sorry i, I just I just love that it's like all wood and like it's uh, it's like it's real. It's something that like you know was made in a different time. Because like, I'm looking at the ones on Amazon. I'm trying to find one that's decently priced, and it's like all these like like ooh new micro portable ones. But it looks like you know those easy bake ovens. You know like for kids uh, where you put like you put all the ingredients in one tray and you put it through this little uh, conveyor belt, and it it sort of looks like that. It looks cheap. It looks like yeah, maybe I'll be able to do my costume, but God, how, how long is it going to last? Why would I spend money on something that might not last more than a year? This thing, it's been around longer than my great-grandmother, so it should work. <laughs> let's, let's, let's hope. Uh, of course, I'm going to take great care of it because this is something that's been around so long. Like, this is the oldest thing that I own. Yeah. Yeah, this is the oldest thing that I I, I own, um, and I need to take care of it because it it has history um, and it can be passed along. If I take good care of this, this thing will last well longer than I will. That's sad to think, eh? Um, but yeah, don't want to keep this video too long. Just really wanted to show this off. That sound, oh, it's meditative. Like I almost like the, when I opened it up, they just wanted to try, let me try it out before I they took uh, took the money, and I just went like, oh wow. That's relaxing. I'm going to be able to get, like, I can just, yeah. Most of the things I don't like about sewing machines is just how loud they are. It's like, wah, 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 wah. I don't need that. That, that's, mm, it's relaxing. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoy that. Um, going to start making some new tabards, new costumes. I want to make a, I have, I have a design in mind. Um, some people have seen it. If you haven't, stay tuned. I might even film part, doing part of this and you can see what this thing's like in action. Just want to get a, a little bit of practice down with it before such a time. Okay. May the force be with you all.